Hello my dear students. In our previous video, we have seen the difference between finite and non-finite verbs. And uh, I have also explained you the first type of non-finite verb that is infinitives. Today we are going to see the second non-finite verb that is participle. Now what is participle? A participle is a Latin word which means sharing, partaking or in other words you can say participation. Now how is it formed? It is formed by a verb which modifies a noun or pronoun as an adjective. So participle is formed by a verb. Which verb? The verb which modifies noun or pronoun and it is used as an adjective. A participle is that form of the verb which plays the part of both a verb and adjective. So participle plays the part of a verb as well as an adjective. So it is partly a verb and partly an adjective. Let's move towards next slide. Now what is participle? See some points you need to keep in mind that participle is not the main verb in the sentence. It does not function as a verb. And what, the, what is the function? It functions as an adjective. Okay. Let's move ahead. Types of participles. There are three types of participles. Present participle that is verb plus ing. Then is past participle that is with three form of the verb. Or you can say third form of the verb. And perfect participle that is having plus with three form of the verb. Now let's see each of these one by one. Present participle. As I told you, present participle is formed by adding ing to the verb. For example, walk plus ing that is walking. Help plus ing that is helping. Read plus ing that is reading. So when we add ing to the verb, it becomes a participle. Okay. Let's continue with examples. She is growing fast. Now see the word growing. The growing pain in her stomach indicated hunger. Now you can see in these both sentences the word growing is used. Now can you tell me what is the difference? Now see the sentence for number one. We have used here is before ing form of verb. So this is a verb which shows the tense. So when ing form of the verb is used with to be verbs, then it functions as a verb. Which are the to be verbs? Am, is, are, was, were, isn't it? So when ing form of a verb is used with to be form, when we add to be form of verb before ing form of verb, then it functions as a verb. Now see the second example. Is there any to be form of the verb before ing form of verb? No. So here it functions as present participle. Now here it is as a participle. See the next 
Example, the train is arriving. Again, it is the verb which shows the tense. The train arriving at the station now is an hour late. So, in this sentence, arriving is participle. Let us see more examples. I really like this dancing doll. Now, here the main verb is like and the word dancing describes the doll. So, here it functions as an adjective. Hence, it is present participle. He jumped from a running train. Here also the verb is jumped. And here ing form of verb acts as an adjective it describes train which train running train so here it functions as an adjective hence it is a present participle a drowning boy was crying for help now see here you can see that there are two ing form of verbs in this sentence but before crying, there is to be verb, that is was. Hence, it is a verb and droning is a participle. Because it describes boy. Which boy? Droning boy. He sold his working machine. Now, here the main verb is sold. And the verb working, ing form of verb, describes the noun machine. Hence, it acts as an adjective and so it is a participle. It was an exciting match. So, here the verb is was. Which match? Exciting. So, exciting is participle. Now, let's move ahead with past participle. A past participle ends in D, E, D, T, N, E, N or N, E. That is V3 form. The third form of verb. And also it acts as an adjective. So whether it is a present participle or past participle, they act as an adjective. Okay. Let's see examples. The burnt child dreads fire. Now here also you can see that which child? Burnt child. It describes the noun child. It is not the main verb in the sentence. Which is the main verb? Dreads. So burnt is your past participle. I saw the tree laden with fruits. Now in this sentence, the main verb is saw. And laden is the past participle because it describes tree. The wounded soldier was taken to the hospital. So here the verb is was taken. And the word wounded describes the soldier. So this is past participle. The broken glass cut my foot. Now cut is the main verb in this sentence. And the word broken describes the glass. Hence it is past participle. A tired person can't be productive. Now here the verb is can't. And the word tired describes the noun person. So tired is past participle. So present participle means ing form of the verbs. And past participle means third form of verbs. Here also you need to keep in mind 
then when vitri form of the verb is used without having words that is have has or had then it is a past participle if before vitri form if we use have has or had then it acts as a verb okay let's move ahead the third that is perfect participle now how is perfect participle formed it is formed by putting having before the past participle so having plus with three then it becomes perfect participle okay it denotes an action which was finished in the past so what does perfect participle denote it denotes an action which was finished in the past so it tells us about the past action it gives more emphasis that the first action is complete before second action starts so here there are two actions and the first action is complete before the second action starts okay let's look at the examples having taught him he returned home now having plus v3 form of verb that is taught here the main verb is returned okay having tired he took rest having edited the video i started uploading it so editing video was completed first and then uploading started right having finished his work he went to play so work was finished first then he went to play having passed the examination she prepared for interview so she passed the examination first and then she prepared for the interview so the verbs like having taught having tired having edited having finished having passed these are all perfect participles i hope you have understood what are participles in today's video we have seen the participles that is partly a verb and partly an adjective it is not the main verb in the sentence